Hello guys! <laughs> you can probably tell like what kind of YouTube videos I've been watching um, before I start recording. Uh, oh, that's odd. So, how's it going? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I have updated my pack. Um, you may have noticed by the new kind of textures here for the magmatic engines and the and the little appetite there. Yep, yep. They finally changed it so it stops looking like a crystal. I'm glad for that. Um, and I've done a little bit of work off camera. Again, all this work off camera just for you guys so that I don't have to worry about boring you guys because it takes quite a long time. Um, I'm just wondering how much you can hear the cicadas from outside. Uh, it's a little bit annoying. Right, so I've done nothing in that direction since last time as far as I remember. Um, I could be wrong, but I don't know, I don't think I have yet. Nope, it's just a really long corridor with uh, the training area down there and the computer's been moved, etc, etc. Um, and I've been using my nice lovely uh, drill. It's been great being able to uh, dig for about, I guess, a stack and a half's worth of blocks, which isn't really all that great. Um, but look at this. Yes. This is great, right? <laughs> I've cleared out this little area. It's good. Um, lets me go down there, etc, etc. Um, and I've made little kind of direction things often over here. I cleared out this tunnel a little bit more. This will go off to the power station. And since I've updated the pack, we've actually got something called Tesseracts now, which allow you to like, depending on the type of tesseract you make, it can transport items, uh, liquids, and power. So that'll be pretty awesome. Um, we'll be able to set up that, and that'll make it easier for us to transport buildcraft power at least. Um, but, what else was there? Um, I ended up chopping down a few of these and, f like, filling out the floor, so that's kind of why it looks a little bit odd there. Um, I've tried lighting this place up. I'm still gonna have to clean it out, obviously, because, I don't know, there's just not quite enough room, or there's too much, or, I don't know, it, it's not refined enough yet for us to start putting our power in there, but we will be doing something with it. I can't, I haven't actually decided whether or not I want to do that today or not, um, but we'll figure that out later. And then this is the little area that I mined out for our processing area. I thought it might be enough. Um, because I'll end up having like little sections themselves, so maybe I want to, um, uh, let's see, there'll be an area where I just want to do only things that will give me rich slag. I'm not sure if that's actually useful in this pack. Rich slag. Uses. Oops. Uses. Okay. Yeah, if you use rich slag with certain ores, obviously you get a little bit more. So maybe I'll be wanting to... Hang on. Rich slag, okay. So if we do that and... Copper, tin, tin, silver. If we do it with the ferris, okay. If we do it with the ones that aren't quite as useful in order to get our rich slag, uh, we'll be able to use it on some of the more important ores. I don't know, it, it's still a little bit up in the air because I don't think I'll be able to produce enough rich slag nor really need that amount of ore from it. So, yeah. In other news, um, I went to a job interview yesterday, so that was kind of cool. Uh, I applied for a job called Geeks on Wheels um, as like a mobile technician. So essentially, I would just, um, I'd be like driving around and stuff and and I would like fix people's problems and <laughs> basically doing all the amazing things ever um, helping people fix problems that they themselves can't fix um, I've got this little guy over here because apparently the one that I've got in there is not close enough let's see how much jetpack I've got I've got enough um, so I've been mining out a little bit of area and this like next part over there was apparently just out of reach my turtle started turning off so I was like no 
and I had a bit of a sad face and whatnot. Um, so I made another one, obviously, uh, just to kind of help out with that. That was creepy. Um, do 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 do. Oh yeah, that gun is loaded. I kind of want to move all this stuff today. I haven't quite decided whether or not that's a good idea. Um, because that means that I lose all this lava that I've been putting in. Um, stop that. Um, all this lava that I've been putting into these guys, I'll be able to transport the power, no problem. So I guess I could leave the magmatic engines to run out of lava with this guy. Um, but all this other stuff I could probably move, so that won't really be too much of a problem. I've got about three of these redstone NG cells. This is my third one, I think. He's just the one that stays here. Um, and I swap them around when uh, the ones that I'm using run out of power. Uh, thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Because I'm tired of having all this stuff in here as well. Like, every time I have to come back is just like a more time that I could have spent doing something else. So, ah, it's, it's a bit of a pain. Um, and plus all this stuff, I could probably leave this stuff here. Because it's not all that hard to get. Maybe I take my sand, uh, my smooth stone, and my obsidian. But all these pipes and things I would take. All this crap. Ah, uh, yeah. So ferrous thing, oh, ferrous stuff. They've changed um, a few recipes. If you look up ferrous, ferrous finally has a use. Uh, I keep burping and it's not good. Um, right, so you use it in an induction smelter and you will get invar ingots if you put it in with iron. And invar ingots are used in order to make the invar gears and induction smelter itself. Hang on. That can't be right. Invar ingot, yeah. Okay, maybe it's the Invar Blend. Yeah, okay. Shapeless Crafting, you use it to create Invar Blend with two iron dust and a pulverized ferrous metal. Oh, I was getting a little bit confused there. How can you use it to make the thing that, um... It needs... Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I was confusing myself anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Invar Gears, uh, we got the Induction Smelter themselves. Uh, and magmatic engines, so it essentially just makes it a little bit harder to make magmatic engines. I'm not really too worried about it. Um, after all, it's not all that hard to create anyway. Um, so powered furnace pulverizer. I reckon that with the use of... Uh, not magma crucible. What's it called? I'm sure I've got the machine somewhere. Um, machine... There we go, Igneous Extruder. Okay, so we'll place you down. Um, with the use of this guy, I could make cobblestone with, you know, all you have to do is put in a bucket of water and a bucket of lava, and that will last forever. Then that cobblestone could go straight into a pulverizer, which would turn it into sand, which could directly go into the induction smelter. So I would have unlimited sand, and it like I wouldn't have to worry about it, so... Instead of having to pulverize all my stuff first, and then smelt it, I could just have unlimited sand already in here, and every time my stuff goes in here, it would automatically become, um, you know, two of the iron ingots, so, or two of any ingots, depending on what it is. So, I reckon that it would be good, we'll be able to use some more of these machines. Of course, like, with, I'm still going to have to... Um, uh, how do I explain this? I'm still going to have to have the IC2 machine, so there's going to be like different sections of my base. Um, but the things that the IC2 machines, like, that I'd end up using for that would be like Matter Fabricator, which I would probably just keep right beside in the um, power area and just have it filter out. The nether seems to be quite loud. Um, yeah, so Matter Fabricator will probably stay in the power area. Um, then, let's see, we'd probably still have our extractors for our rubber. We're going to need a lot of rubber. Um, and, let's see. 
I always get distracted by whenever I see unfamiliar blocks. Hmm. Light sensor, randomizer, transparent. What? Transparent latch. I don't know what that is. See, there's so many new things that I haven't actually seen before, and chances are they've been there for a while. It's just that when I finally do see them, um, I get confused. I kind of, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I wish I had grade tech. Like, it's got a few things in there that are quite cool. Um, yes. Replicator, purifier, inoculator, synthesis. Oh, these are all B things. Advanced genetic machine? Yes, of course. They look very impressive. Um, eh, I can't see the bottom. Oh. So, yes, anyway, um, as I was saying, but I keep getting distracted, um, the vase crystal clusters. This is how the vase crystals used to be done, except now they're just like normal ores, ore blocks, which is kind of dumb. Item tesseracts, there we go. Okay, energy tesseract, liquid tesseract, and item tesseract. They all cost like different items in order to make them, so this one costs 10 and pneumatic servo. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, but do they change? Yes, this one changes to copper with silver. Hang on, copper with silver, tin with silver, and I suppose the last one is electrum for energy. Okay, that makes sense. Redstone conductance coil and pneumatic servo, pneumatic servo. Okay, what are they? Pneumatic servo is iron ingots with redstone and glass. I'm going to have to make like a whole nother um, project table just for this stuff because, oh man, I'm getting excited. It's good. Um, Right, so what do we do today then? Magmatic engines, portable, blah 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 blah. Um, uh, okay, I'll start moving some machines across there. So just give me a minute and I'll get some stuff sorted. Actually, I was just thinking of something. Um, I'm gonna put that on the ground for a sec, put in the nether right there. Right. Um, I was just thinking of how I was going to transfer all the power that I've got in here. Because that it's kind of a pain to have to put them, well, wait for it to charge up all over again. I don't really like it. Um, but I was thinking, I could just put in a Lapatron crystal. I mean, these things, I'm sure that they can store more power than... Hang on, I'm using my fingers here. Uh, one, yeah, 1 million EU, right? What can you hold? One, yeah, 600,000, so, oh, of course I can't, because it's not an MFSU. Damn it, okay, so maybe I'll just have to um, make some more power crystals. But that was going to be a good plan. Um, oh well. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what? Energy crystals, they're dumb. <laughs> they only get like 10% at most. No, not 10%. They only get 10... Uh, why am I bad at maths? They only get 100,000, so one sixth of the power in total. And to be honest, I don't actually care about it enough to be bothered with it, so screw that. Um, oops. Damn it, do I have a block? Oh, I do have the block. Okay. Pop that back down there. Um, so I'll take in one of these energy crystals worth. It's really not that big of a hassle. Um, and I also have to think on how to pick that up. I think I need bronze. In order to create the bronze, I need tin and copper. I'm just checking to see whether or not I've actually got them already. Um, in order to make the tesseracts, you need like a bajillion ender pearls. I was quite surprised when I saw that. Um, they need like molten ender, which is quite an odd thing to ask for. Um, what am I doing? Bronze, right. Copper, and... Did I grab out some tin? Yes, I did. Well, I have now. And put that right there, and that goes there, and this goes here. Then you balance them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's another one where, like this, and I'm not completely sure what it's for, but if you know, feel free to tell me, because that would be quite helpful to me. I could have just made like an electric one of these, but I don't really know what. 
high voltage solar wrench turtle. Eh, what are you doing? This isn't what I want at all. Oh, there we go. So it costs the wrench and an electronic circuit and an RE battery. I could probably do that. Why not? If I'm going to end up creating it at some point anyway. Um, down, 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 down. RE battery plan. It's missing this and this. Grab one of these. Put that there. No. RE battery, change it for copper cable. Nope. Advanced circuit. Nope. Where's my normal circuits? Don't I have a normal circuit plan? I'm sure I did. Maybe I've just been creating them the whole time. No, I'm sure I didn't. That's unusual. Okay, well, in that case, I'll just make one. Um, and refined iron in the middle. Voila, c'est magnifique. And the... I'm sure I'm using the words wrong, it's okay. Um, then craft this bad boy. Then of course we have to power him up, and he's probably had enough time by now to almost be full again. Huh. Oh well. Um, then, let's see, how do I change you to lossless mode? Nope, not that. Um, there's like a change power, or change mode. Let's see, what is it? Mode switch key. M key. M and right click. But obviously it's not that because they've changed that. Um, let's see. Extra. Da, da, da. I'm sure it's mode switch key. So let's see if we can find another one. F, G, H. Okay. H and right click. Lossless wrench mode. Shift. Oh wait, do I have to shift when I do this? Nope. Okay. Fantastic. MFE. That's good. Okay. Whew. I don't like having to lose all that power whenever I do things like that. Oh, that's good. Okay. I... I don't know. I crafted the other one. Hang on. Picking up the geothermal generator with lossless mode almost drained the thing, but picking up the MFE didn't. Did that, like, charge it a little bit or something? That... Uh, that's weird. Um, let's see. Is it F? Or is it H? Lossless myth wrench mode disabled. Shift, no. Okay. Not to worry then, I'm sure that they don't um, change like that. So, we'll pick this guy up. Wait, are we going to be using this stuff over there? Of course we are. Why am I picking up this stuff? Ah, uh, I'm dumb. <laughs> I want to be picking up this stuff over here, not the stuff over here. Grr. Um, oh well. Oh, but the MFB is empty now. Of course it is. Oh well. <laughs> what a waste of time that was. Um, so is this thing almost full yet? Yes it is. So that means that this can be turned off. So can this one. And so can this one. Okay. I should really, like, drain all the lava out of here, but it's... Oh wait, this is already empty. Oh, okay. Um. Hmm. Uh, it's times like these that I really wish that I had my alchemical bags, but as far as I know, um, you can't craft them yet. They're in the game. I'm sure that they are. I think I remember seeing them. Hang on. Alchemical bag. Yeah, there we go. Why alchemical bag, but you can't push R on them, so I don't know whether or not they actually have a recipe or they're just put in the game. Um, what was I doing? I need to put some stuff somewhere. Here's good. Um, <laughs> just dump it all in there. I need none of this, actually. Um, uh, I'll put that there then. I'm going to pick up this stuff. That's the problem with these ender chests, they can only hold so much, but they're useful enough to be used, obviously. Um, so I can put those away then. Um, 
and I probably don't need the sand in there, so that's fine. <laughs> Sorry, started playing with the buttons. Um, hmm. And you know what? I can take the fuller out as well. I don't think I'll be able to. I'll be needing that anytime soon. Okay, so that'll be fine for now. Um, advanced circuit plan. I didn't want to take that with me. Um, and there's no room here. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. And there's still no room there. And I thought I almost crashed my game. Oh my god, I have spent a lot of time doing absolutely nothing. I am sorry about this, please forgive me. I'll uh, put that back there, and this over here. And this time I actually will try and get everything picked up and sorted and put into the right place. Um, so I've cleaned up a little bit, uh, obviously. I still haven't done the Thorncraft stuff. I might leave that stuff over here. Because I don't want it messing up with the Bond Cave, and I'm not really sure whether or not that stuff is appropriate in there anyway. Um, but, I, I may have had a relapse. <laughs> there, there's no more eggs in here. The chest opening sound is broken. I have left so many chickens up there. There's at least 72 chickens up there right now. Yeah, I'm gonna leave them there. Um, I'm gonna wait until they're all grown up, and then I'm gonna murder them all mercilessly. By the time that they're like grown up, they would have, um, most of them would have, you know, planted their own eggs in there, so they'll be fine. Um, and as for this, I might, yeah, I suppose I could, I could move this one. Um, there's a weird kind of siren noise in my ear, and it's annoying me. It's like a Can I... One second. Okay. It appears to only do it while I'm set to recording. Um, which is going to annoy me to no end. Um, oh, wait. Okay. Never mind. I just need to move my headphones slightly, which is really, really odd. Um, but anyway, I'll leave these here for now. And every time I need to power up one of my... Um, whatchamacallits, my redstone energy cells would be fine. Stupid chickens. Right, um, so let us go over... Uh, There's a thing there. Um, let's go to the other area. And this place always sounds so loud. Um, and we'll see what we can do about making this place, you know, actually appear as if it's being used. Um, power station... I still don't quite know how I want to go about that one. I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to use, you know, some red power, um, uh, you know, the machines that like pull items from certain inventories and whatnot. Um, I'll get it to like maybe pull. Oh, go away, plane. <laughs> um, I'll see if I like get it to pull Lapatron crystals out that when they're like full and start powering machines up that way. Um, get it to run through like uh, uh, oh, what's it called? These things, ender chests. There we go. It's having a little bit of trouble there. I can't understand why. Um, anyway, so I'm thinking. Let's see. Maybe I'll put it there. This is the one that you know turtles will end up putting it into this inventory. So I'll end up pulling it out of there. Um, I'm gonna need another chest. Or another one of the ender chests. Um, when it goes out of there, it would like depending on what kind of item it is, it will uh, go to a certain machine. I'm still thinking. And apparently, I only feel the need to burp while I'm on camera. So that is pretty damn fantastic. Um, yeah, I need this chest. Okay, there we go. And no, no. Just double checking. I pretty much gave up on the soul shards very, very quickly. Um, as I was like saying to you guys earlier, I'll probably just end up filling up the skeleton and zombie ones uh, right when I get into some more miscraft. A lot of you guys suggested that I turn off the instability thing, so if more of you guys think I should do that, then I will. Otherwise, I won't worry about it too much, and I'll just kind of um, go with the flow a little bit, I guess. 
Right, so we've got a magma crucible here, so that might be some power. Um, but then I don't really want that in here. What was I using that for? Yeah, I was using that for power. Okay. Um, so this is our nice little box of machines. MFP, geothermal generator, that's all power stuff. Um, I got a message on Skype, don't worry. Um, liquid transposer, magma crucible, induction smelter. Induction smelter might be something that we'll use. Pulverizer, yes. Um, and then our igneous extruder, there we go. So, I don't actually know where I want to put these right now. Um, still trying to figure that out. That's a big problem for me. I'm not very good at thinking. <laughs> in general. Okay, so here is a pulverizer. Here is the igneous extruder. Um, actually, no, we'll put that into the back, igneous extruder, and it will receive items from the back. Yep. And then, no, I don't want it to eject it out the top. Out the top, I want to receive... No, I don't. What am I thinking? This is not correct. Um, induction smelter is where I want the sand. So, how am I going to do that? It will output it out to the, to the right. I don't remember whether or not you... Okay. It's okay. It's fine. We're just doing some thinking. Um, macerator, grinder, pulverizer. Does pulverizer have any kind of extra stuff? Okay, you can have a 10% chance of getting gravel. If the gravel is full, is there a chance that... Uh, that's annoying, because I don't want to have a chance of getting gravel. Um, is it possible to get rid of the gravel somehow? We'll think about it. We could put, like, a pipe down there. That would probably be the most easy and useless way to get it done. Um, and I don't have the resources. Uh, okay. I should probably sort out, like, a storage area as well, so I don't have to always run around to, like, the different parts of my base. Or maybe I can have, like, a... <laughs> maybe I could have, like, another little near the hub, but except it will be, like, a certain part of my base, and then... Oh, okay, don't worry, I'm thinking ahead here. Um, but I got some pipes now, so that will be fine. Um, if I want to get rid of the gravel, all I have to do is put the pipe there, and then say that I want that ejected downwards, so that's fine. Uh, pulverizer, you get stuff from the back, and you eject the other stuff to the right. Um, and then... Let's see, I'm trying to figure out how to power all of these at the same time as well. Um, igneous extruder, you don't actually need anything along the top. Um, so I'll tell you what, if we go like this, that should be fine. Let's go grab some of our power. I'm, I'm just doing this test, just by the way. Um, grab out that. Put this over here. And then all we have to do is plonk that there. We can change that to receive. You don't need anything from the top, so we can turn that one off. Right? Or are you? What's going on? Why aren't you taking in... Oh, you don't need power, do you? You just need lava and water. Okay. Well, that is fine, then. Um, in that case, don't really worry too much about it. Uh, sand from there. Then from the top, I would say... Purple. We can close off that one, close off that one. And all output can go to orange, which means that it all goes out that way. Okay, now on top of that, we need lava and water. Alrighty, and then with this nice lovely bucket of lava and bucket of water, um, we just dump them straight into here, if I remember correctly. Oh, you can just right click on it like that, that's cool. Um, so there we go, that puts that there. I don't want that ejecting downwards. I want that to go off to the right. Is that working? Yes, it is. Okay. So that 
is going to be a little bit slow. There's no way that we can make that faster, is there? Nope. Oh well. And of course, as a way to test it, let's see. We've got this stuff here, that'll work. Be good enough. And some iron, sure, why not? It's good when you have little caves like this when you haven't refined it. It's good to um, get out some random stuff. So, pulverizer is rather slow. If I could. Oh, no, because I can't have them set up like that. I could probably have another set of that but on this side and have purple coming in from both sides and then eject it down the bottom. Or I could flip this around and eject it around the back, which would go this way. Um, yeah, that that might work if I get really desperate for like making it go faster. Um, but then this thing's not really that much faster either. For yeah, it probably smelts the stuff around the same speed as it would um, as it takes to get the sand in the first place. So we'll probably be fine. Um, Cobblestone will probably get up to 64 quite quickly when this is, I don't know, if it gets full of sand, and this is already full of sand, it won't really worry too much. Um, I like that it has two output slots here, so regardless, it's always going to have enough room. Um, yay, okay, so that all works. Um, well, kind of. Obviously, I'm going to have to fix this and figure out how I actually want it to um, do other things. I'm forgetting the, the words that are supposed to be coming into my mouth, into my mouth hole. Um, and I didn't stick everything in the chest because I'm a dumbass, and I left things in the machine's chest back at the other base. Okay, so I've set up this guy again. Um, obviously he's not really going to get too much use. I don't even think I'll even keep him there. I'm not completely sure. Um, it kind of depends. This is the processing area where like, we create things from other things. But then... I don't know. <laughs> and then I've got just a nice little chest. I plan on putting some stuff there at some point. Um, now, what was I doing? I ended up putting everything into this chest because I ran out of room. Um... And how did I power you before? Electrical engine so I could pump out whole stacks of things. Um, then one of these two. So it would have been like this, that, and then I had a gate in here. And in that gate it said... Um, inventory, or items in inventory. I just want to see what else is in here. Um, energy stored, can store energy, full energy. That's unusual. Anyway, um, items in inventory, and then we need another one of these pipes. Well, not those pipes specifically. Um, let's use golden pipes, why not? Um, and then it will just shoot them out. So, oops. Looking at that, then redstone signal, that turns that on because there's items in there, but this has got nothing to, uh, to power it, so we don't really need to worry about that too much. Um, but of course we still need to figure out how we're going to make it work. Before we used a geothermal generator, and I'm kind of thinking... Hmm... How's that going to work? Um... You know what, next episode we're going to be working on the power area. I think I'm almost out of time here anyway. Yeah, about 33 minutes in. So I'm kind of sorry that we didn't get all that much done. Um, I kind of talked about, you know, what we're, what's changed between now and last episode. And we've started packing up the old area, shifting it into the new area. And yes. Now, I could tell you what I plan on doing over here to make this work all the time. Uh, but I'm not going to, because that means that you won't watch. And it's like, like ah, blah, 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 words. I kind of failed there. Um, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching, look forward to the next episode where we do all kinds of shenanigans in order to uh, make power work, so yeah, thank you guys and I will catch you guys next time.